Hey friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today I'm going to talk about indications for influenza vaccine in adult. This is very important topic for USMLE step 1, for step 2 CK and a step 3. But guys, uh, before uh, dis starting a discussion on this uh, vaccination, uh, please subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends about our channel to Facebook email or Twitter account Okay, the first question I would like to ask you is what is an indication for influenza vaccines in adults? We are speaking about Okay, uh, not about the children. We are speaking about the adults. So now you tell me Right now, I'm going to speak about the indication as per the CDC guidelines 2012 okay there are the recent guidelines from a 2012 CDC okay uh, let me start with this first indication is any pregnant lady should get this influenza vaccine okay second any adult uh, any adult that will be an indication for uh, immunization schedule before 2012 uh, i think around the 2007 i don't know exactly the indication for influenza vaccine was more than 50 years but now they have changed it to any adult can get the influenza vaccine okay so there has been recently changes uh what are the uh, the yearly they should get the vaccine that's also very important once they get they should start getting the vaccines regularly and the important indication is the healthcare workers okay so the important points other than this usually what we give uh, what we advise the patient to go ahead with the pneumococcal and influenza vaccines are uh, any patients of chronic disease hiv patient patient on steroids and a diabetic patient okay Okay, when do influenza vaccine differ from pneumococcal vaccine? So it's a, an age. Okay, above 65 years, we start with the pneumococcal vaccine. Whereas influenza vaccine, we can give to any adult. Healthy, non-pregnant adult, younger than age 50 years, without high risk medical condition, can receive either intranasally administered live attenuated influenza vaccine L A I V or T I V healthcare personnel who care for a severely immunocompromised person should receive T I V rather than L A I V. Other personnel should receive T I V. Okay. T I V nothing but uh, injectable uh, influenza injectable travalent. Uh, the intramuscular or intradermal administered TIV are options for adult aged 18 to 64. So look at the age before it was above 50 years. Now they have removed it according to 2012 that is 2012 CDC guidelines. Any adult can receive influenza vaccine. Adult aged 65 years and older can receive the standard dose of TIV or high dose of TIV. So as the age more than five, uh, 65 years, uh, we need to give more and more dose of uh, influenza vaccination. This is a beautiful table, a uh, vaccine contraindications and the precautions. Influenza injectable travalent as a TIV, the contraindication are severe allergic reaction, example anaphylaxis of a previous dose of any influenza vaccine or two vaccine component including egg protein. Remember egg protein, very important. Precautions, moderate or severe acute illness with or without fever. History of Gullenberry syndrome within six weeks of previous vaccination, influenza vaccination. Influenza live attenuated vaccine, severe allergic reaction after previous dose of any influenza vaccine or to a vaccine component including egg protein, immune suppression, certain chronic medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart or a kidney disease, pregnancy uh, what are the precautions moderate or severe acute illness with or without fever history of gbs within uh, six weeks of previous influenza vaccine 
vaccination, receipt of specific antiviral amantadine, remantadine, xanamide 48 hours before the vaccination. Avoid use of these antiviral drugs for 14 days after vaccination. Okay guys, thank you. Oh god. Oh, do, oh yeah. I'm done with this on uh, influenza vaccination schedule for uh, 2012. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care. Uh, see you soon in the next video with me on USMLE team.